no matter what path you choose to walk, and whether you believe or not, you can be certain that a fairy is watching. Hello, fairy finders and fairy seekers. Welcome to Fairy Quest and another episode of Real Fairies in Real Photos. Today, I am going to share photos with you that I feel show you that fairies have certain superpowers or abilities, and this is part one. The idea for this mini-series came from an article my husband found for me on a website called Connolly Cove. It's a travel website for Ireland. One of the articles on the site was about fairy mythology, and in this article was a section called Fairy Superpowers, and there were seven superpowers listed. I have no idea where the writer of this article found this information, but when I read the list, I realized I had photos that show these superpowers. So, in seven parts, possibly more if you leave suggestions in the comments section, I am going to share proof of these superpowers with you. So number one is communication with animals, and this superpower involves some fairies having the ability to feel what an animal is feeling and speak with them verbally and or telepathically. I'm going to show you four of my photos that immediately came to mind that I feel shows this superpower quite clearly. Let me know what you think. This first photo has a dragon and a boy in it, lying side by side, and if you look closely at the picture, you can see that the boy is actually turned toward the dragon and is either speaking out loud or speaking telepathically. Now I know we're talking about animals and communication with fairies, but I had to add this one in because we have an orb here with a little fairy who either is sleeping or is really focused on communicating telepathically with this orb. And I personally believe that orbs are spirits or some kind of living something. So I feel like this one does offer the possibility that this little fairy is communicating telepathically with the spirit of this orb. This is one of my favorite photographs. You can see a man riding a creature that I call a dragon. And to me, to tame a beast such as this and to look as natural together as the two of them do in this photograph, I believe this requires some pretty major communication of some sort. How about you? This is another of my favorite photos. In this one, we can see a little fairy, somewhat transparent, riding on the head of a very large dog, or at least large to her. Again, like with the last photo with the man and the dragon, I think there has to be some kind of really amazing rapport, some kind of amazing communication going on for them to function together in such a way with no fear. So that's it for part one. Let me know in the comments what you think, and I'll see you very soon for part two. Take care.